Hey there, Tanker Seattle Forge here, and it's been a good long while since I made one of these. Uh, I've been busy. I've taken on a lot of new additional duties at work, and I haven't been playing the most phenomenal games. I've been playing a lot tired. I've had a respiratory infection for over four weeks. It's kicking my ass even still. Don't be surprised if I blank out here. But I have been having fun in these uh, French wheel vehicles. I, I didn't love the Tier 6. Uh, my friends liked it a lot. I think for the tier, it has a really good gun. And of course, the forward and backward speed is great, but it's just not maneuverable, and I couldn't love it. Uh, I got the tier 7. like it a lot more. And uh, I got to the tier 8 in only 27 games, which, you know, premium account and all that kind of stuff uh, really helps out, obviously. And then I run into this house, and I'm like, this KV-85 is going to fucking finish me. But uh, he's a Muppet. So he doesn't. And I have my fun with him. So, what do I like about this tank? Well, the finally, the speed gets up. The gun is not amazing, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, of course, with all the uh, wheel vehicles, the vision range is not great unless you really push in. Uh, the vision range isn't great, so you have to push in. That better said. Uh, the camo is pretty good. Uh, this doesn't God, I'm playing these so much, this doesn't look fast to me. I played my Cromwell the other night, and I was like, I thought this tank was fast. And I realized it's just because I've been playing these quite a lot that the Cromwell doesn't feel quick at all anymore. Uh, it, it is. It really is. Uh, but my other light tanks just don't feel fast anymore. Um, they have other advantages, obviously. Uh, but they don't have the auto-aim feature that this thing does. They don't have the speed this thing does. They don't have the ability to stay upright like this thing does. It's almost unfair that you can run into almost any obstacle. <laughs> BK2801. <laughs> um, you can run into almost any obstacle and still right yourself. That's fine. You're not going to tip over. I do think that's a good mechanic for this line. Uh, I don't know how we feel about expanding it to other light lines, non wheeled i have to think about that a little bit more. But, you know, you do want to play your light tanks a bit with abandon. I mean, it, it's so easy to wreck you that the physics shouldn't be the thing that undoes you. You need to be able to take chances and fly around and... Oh, look, they, I thought I was, it was over at this point. And then I finally write my ammo rack and all the other problems I got going on there. But uh, I don't want to spend the 20k. <coughs> Here's the uh, infection. Uh, didn't want to spend the 20k until I know he's going to be around for a little bit. And it looks like I'm going to be around for a little bit. So, off we go. And I think you're playing this fairly aggressively and staying on the move and playing it actively as intended. And I do get lucky a lot. I mean, uh, that's the thing with this, this uh, tank is that uh, if the enemy gunners are on, if they're on their game, you're fucking finished because you have to get in close so you're, you're spotting and being spotted uh, unlike other light tanks thank you Walt for finishing that guy off that was awesome uh, you really have to be on your game and then so you have to also get lucky and this thing is hard to hit and the wheels do absorb an immense amount of punishment but you know if you get your wheels hit the enemy team really has every opportunity to put you out of your misery you don't have many hit points you've got no armor whatsoever HE shells fuck you up they're the fuckest upest. You know, just don't shoot the wheels. Alright, and this is one of the better players on the enemy team. This aerial V39. Uh, v so, uh, and I realized I need to tighten up my circle. To circle strafe him, otherwise he will get turned around. And then I believe my teammates come in and help me out, whether I wanted it or not, at this point. But, you know, they're gonna get their damage too. And I've done alright. Okay. The entire... Friendly team has pushed up to the middle or their cap, and there are two, two enemy players in our cap circle. So I will use my 70 kilometer per hour speed to rush to get these resets as best I can with my remaining 311 hit points and hope for the best. And, uh, you know, Walt and Larry chattering about, oh, I gotta get these guys, oh, they get the Stritzfang reset. But, you know, I don't want to come in back either. And then I stayed on him and took the shot when I really should have waited. Eh, 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 force, you know, after after the fact. 
you know, everything. All right, we've got them reset up big time, so I'll just get the shot in that I can, maybe remove another tank, and then the enemy uh, is taken out by our teammates, and I get finished by the VK, who then gets roasted. And that's my 80th ace. I really enjoyed that game. Thank you. Well, kids, this one has everything I like about a game. It has a scroll bar. It has a scroll bar. They don't all fit. They don't all fit. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I got uh, six original spots. I did get uh, uh, assistance on five enemy tanks for, uh, well, 1,272, if the tallies to be believed. And I'd get uh, 3,042 damage on the enemy team for uh, 10,657 win eight game. Ace badge, spawning badge, bruiser, high caliber, confederate. Uh, I'll call that a good game. I didn't feel that great until the end, I'll be honest. With almost double the experience of the next best player, uh, our Tiger P on our team, uh, with 1,327, uh, 1,326, I apologize, base XP. This turned out to be quite a result. I'm very happy with it. Uh, and uh, I just am glad that the Muppets on the enemy team, uh, four of them getting zero damage at Stira Mill. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, KV85, who I thought was going to finish me. Nothing. Uh, that's a good feeling, right? We want the next page. Funny that with uh, 23 shots fired, only 13 penetrated. Uh, perhaps that's somewhat to do with some of the HE, because I think that uh, some of those non-penetrations actually did some damage and helped out and got some of the assistance, which is nice. Came up to shy of 25,000 credits. Not a great game uh, in results for credits, but a profit nonetheless. And two bonds. I can't figure out how I got those. Uh... I, this tank's a keeper. I think I'm going to keep this one around. Um, I have the tier 8. It's nice, but I'm not putting my good crew that I got from Christmas into that tank. I'm going to build up a new crew and uh, move that one along, I think. Uh, this tier 7 feels right to me. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, uh, give it a like. You know, maybe subscribe. Leave a comment. Call me a shitlord. That all counts towards the tally, doesn't it? All right. You have a great day, mates.